Welcome back guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the viability of Barbarians using shields in Diablo 3. Bit of background before we kick it off, in Diablo 2 Barbarians didn't use shields, pretty much full stop. So who did use shields? Wind Druids used shield, certain sorceress builds did, you either max block with a sorceress or you didn't use a shield pretty much. Paladins had their own shields, uh, I'm wanting to say there was a couple of Amazon builds that used shields as well in their offhand. I'm not 100% sure on that, I can't quite remember. I'm sure there's a couple others that I'm missing, but that's pretty much it for who used shields in Diablo 2. So with that wee bit of backstory out of the way, I've always liked the idea of using a shield as a barbarian. It just wasn't viable in Diablo 2. I'm hoping they're going to make it viable in Diablo 3. So far, so good. As you'll see, I don't have too many difficulties in the beta anyway. I'm using a shield and a one-hander. And with Infernal difficulty looking to be more about survivability than damage, hopefully shields are going to have their place in Diablo 3. Since we don't have a weapon quick switch in Diablo 3 like we did in Diablo 2, I really think we need to make a definite decision on which way we want to go and carry around the, obviously just those weapons because we don't want to be filling up our inventory with secondary weapons, that type of thing. We might have to keep spears in our shared stash and shoot back to town and grab it that way if we want to do it that way. But of course, at least initially we'll be using the best weapons we can find, it won't be until further down the track where we make some definite decisions on which weapon we want and we'll probably end up sticking with those weapons. So why would we use a shield? We should answer that question first off I guess. There's a few advantages to using a shield, blocking obviously the big advantage. The way blocking is handled in Diablo 3 is different than Diablo 2. In Diablo 2 you either blocked or you didn't. In Diablo 3 you block but you only block a percentage of the damage. Now each shield is different and it has two numbers on it. It has the chance to block and it also has the value of the block if you did indeed block. So you'll see a couple of shields that I'm using. I think one had a 30% chance to block and it blocks somewhere between 11 and 15 damage. And of course above block we also have the added value of the armor that is on the shield which of course gives us an overall higher damage reduction across the board. But of course above all that is the fact that shields just look badass. What else can I say? You just look awesome when you're carrying your shield. So why wouldn't everybody just use a shield then? There's quite a hefty um, reduction in damage done when using a shield of course. In the beta it doesn't seem to be overly noticeable. Probably losing about 20-25% of your overall damage. But as weapons get better and better, and especially the two hands get higher and higher in the damage, I can see this increasing. Could possibly end up somewhere around the 50% mark, but that's yet to be seen. So I wouldn't take those numbers as gospel. Because I'm sure we're going to get some pretty decent one-handers thrown our way as well. And we might even get some pretty nice shields that even add to damage. Now as you've been watching on the screen, I haven't had any difficulties up till this stage with any of the bosses. In fact, they've all been really quite easy. I haven't had to use a potion or anything like that at this stage. <laughs> that does change later on, trust me. It's not all smooth sailing for the shield. And I'm using a pretty rubbish um, one-hander there at the moment. I think we're somewhere around the 7.8 um, DPS, which of course is not that flash. I haven't actually set up until this stage. What you're watching is all from one run-through, um, from level 1. All I've done is just taken out all the boring bits and just given you the boss fights. As you can see I'm not really having any difficulties whatsoever with these bosses. Even though my one hander is not fantastic, I do find a better one. I actually found it from a random event and you will get to see it before we take on the boss. Alright, so as you can see up to the Skeleton King, I got to level 7. Um, I'm using a 13.6 one-handed sickle that I found. My block chance was 20% with an overall damage reduction of 30%. So not a very high block chance. Only 20%. Now we'll come right in and say this. The boss fight with Skeleton King didn't go straight forward. It wasn't the easiest one I've had. Although I haven't actually killed him uh, apart from co op um, in beta patch 15, so I'm not sure how it compares to a two hander. So I will do another run later with a two hander and just see what the um, difference was. Now, one thing I did notice doing these playthroughs just using the shield and the one hander, you have to kind of approach 
um, packs of mobs and bosses a wee bit differently than you do with the two-hander. Two-hander you can seem to just plough through a lot. Um, you can't actually do that with the one-hander because obviously it's not hitting quite as hard. You've got to use your skills a bit more, definitely using your stun a lot more, um, which I have at this stage. If you've got bash equipped with onslaught, which uh, replaces the knockback and turns it into a stun, it's a very good combination, especially on your bosses. Try and weave in between that and ground stomp, and you can keep him stunned for quite a long time. The only problem is that bash one isn't controllable, and there's a long cooldown on your ground stomp. But if you can time them properly, it definitely, definitely worth it. And you'll notice the further into this fight we get, I actually get a bit better at timing the two stuns and keeping them locked down there for a wee bit longer than I was at the start of the fight. So I think you actually have to get used to using a shield. Because you have to use your skills so differently, and I've predominantly been using just the two-hander like most people would be using, or the two one-handers as the case may be. Um, but you definitely have to approach fights a lot differently. You rely a bit more on your skills, although there is a trade-off of course because you do survive quite a bit longer. Um, but fights tend to go for a bit longer. There's been a few instances where if I was using a two-hander, um, I was pretty sure I would be dead because there were just so many mobs that were hitting me that much and you can see the blocks um, come up on your screen so you actually get a nice idea of how much damage you're reducing by using that shield Would I recommend shields to everybody? No, I wouldn't Definitely it's a different playstyle and if if you like the playstyle which is slower but you're a lot tougher um, you definitely use a shield if you just want to plough through stuff and risk the odd death here and there Stick with your two-handers or your two one-handers. That would be my advice. But again, as with everything in the beta, we're very limited on what we actually have access to, so it's hard to give you an overall picture of whether something's good or not. But definitely up to this stage, it's viable to use a shield one-hander right from the start. As you can tell, I have, and I haven't had too many issues taking this guy down. I've been close a couple of times, but I'm sure you can see near the end of the fight when I can try and get that stun rotation working a bit better. Um, it's definitely easier. And down he goes. Easy as that. And funnily enough I got a two-hander rear as a reward. Isn't that always the way though? So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you next time.